What's your relationship status? Are you single? I'm just working on something. You're too old to be doing that. <laughs> Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Oh, I was just about to clock it. No, you're hey, how are you? to check out. Bro. Hi, how are you? You're about to fucking clock out. Yeah, we're leaving today. There's a dead person in here. He killed. He's Jeffrey Dahmer. He, we'll be out in about five minutes, ma'am. He's gonna eat me. Thank you. Timing wise, I literally had wound my hand back. Welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so it's time to clock in. Or it looks like clock out. Chill out. You do too much energy. You don't have to do that. For the clock in you do. They they require it. Nobody gives a fuck, bro. It's too much. Try it just more chill. Just be yourself. Be real. Alright, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so are we? It's time to clock in. That's fire. Leave it in the comments if you fucking think that shit's better. You're gonna have to quit YouTube in like six months if you keep doing <laughs> I that. I want to right now. We are in a dank Stanford, Connecticut hotel room. Show them the vibes. Beautiful. Just horrific. Rainy, cold, East Coast scumbag vibes. But you know what? You know what this weather makes me want to do? Heroin. <laughs> <laughs> we already got the maids at the door trying to kick us out. Business will be me back in the day. Leave me alone! <laughs> I'll be out in a few minutes! You like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could late, I? Late check out! Late check out! You're not doing a burger review this week? Listen to me, guys. New Haven, Connecticut. What can you say about this city? Once ranked the fourth most dangerous city in the entire United States. Two things holding it together. Yale University, one of the best colleges in the world, and the bustling pizza scene. The pizza capital of the world. Not Staten Island, not Queens, not New York City, and not Italy. New Haven, Connecticut. Okay, that's your opinion. Nobody gives a fuck. That's not true. <laughs> he's right. That's not. He, he's really right. Let me ask right. you a question. When we're on the podcast and I start talking about food with the guests, what happens to their eyes? What happens to their face? Yeah, bro? it lights up. People love to be with their family, be with their friends, and talk and think about food. Fair yeah. enough. Okay. Island pizza's better. Oh, oh, are you oh, fucking? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsors. Do you like free shit? If you say no, then you're lying to yourself. And if you say yes, you need to listen to what I'm about to tell you. FanDuel, the number one big swinging dick sportsbook in America, is offering a no sweat first bet up to $1,000. What does it mean? It means when you download the app and you make your first bet, if you lose, you get your money back to try again. That's like me walking into the pizza shop, hey, I'll have a large cheese pizza, and they say, okay, Mike, your total comes to absolutely nothing. Why would you not rock with that? Football season is in full swing right now and headed straight down the pipe to the playoffs, and FanDuel has all the money lines, point spreads, and player props that you could ever need. I've got everything riding on my Philadelphia birds, but whoever you got, FanDuel's the place to be. Their app is safe, secure, and easy to use, plus you get paid fast. So please do yourself a favor and click the link in the description below to download the FanDuel Sportsbook app and use my code BIGMIKE to get a no sweat first bet up to $1,000. Treat yourself to a little fun this holiday season with FanDuel, the official sportsbook partner of the NFL. Click the link in the description and let's get... Back to the night shift, baby. <laughs> the biggest war in the world, Peppies versus Sally's. Okay, so listen. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sign outside that says next takeout 4.30, but here's the problem. It's 1 p.m. That's three and a half hours. There's a long line of people out front. Jay so Paul. I went up. So I went up to the guy and I said, "Listen, I got global super celebrity this Logan is Paul here. Listen, we know we know who he is. We'll just wait right there. We got a pizza in the back. Cheese pie. They go extra char at Sally's. It's got a nice crust, a yeah. nice char on it, right? Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. Go ahead." <laughs> You know, I started off with a bad attitude, but I'm hungry, my mouth is water, and looking at this, it's fucking phenomenal. Mark it in your mind as what you think of it, because we'll go to Pepe's now. Two hour wait for pizza? Nope, not when you're with global super celebrity Logan Paul. Here's the deal with this. Not as much of a singe on it, not as much as the New Haven char as Sally's, mm -hmm. right? Pepe's is famous for their white clam pizza. Yeah, I didn't, didn't get that. the <laughs> white clam. <laughs> the reason I didn't get it is because it's hard to compare that to the other places. Look at this. <laughs> Oh yeah, I burned the whole roof of my mouth. Yep. Perfect. Yup. Yeah. Chicago's a bowl of soup, tomato have you soup. Had Get out of here! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah You're yeah, in yeah, New yeah, Haven, yeah. Connecticut. I we don't love. talk about Chicago here. Chicago. Well, you shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> you fucking roasted that stranger. <laughs> Dude, this is terrible. Huh? Terrible. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Bowl of soup. It's the worst. You gotta eat pizza with a spoon. <laughs> Come on, warm up, warm up. Oh, 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 you don't gotta be waiting all day. Maybe you won't even. 
Pepe's Where's it from? A little place called Pepe's Pizza. Oh, no shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? Good to see you, brother. I'm just showing them, showing them the ropes. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I want, yeah, pizza's burning. Like, like the ropes house. in the WWE. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my bad. That's, that's, that's fire, that's fire. You guys want to hang outside? I'll bring it out to you. Yeah, hang outside? Chill outside. Hang yeah, we'll just like chill. Yeah. <laughs> All right, last one. Modern pizza. See a little bit of the char there? We got a special guest star, by the way. Who, me? We're fucking good. This is number one, the other two tied for second. Number one. Yep. Gotta go with Pepe's. Wow. This is number two, and then Sally's is number three for me. Okay, I gotta say modern one, Sally's two, Pepe's three. Listen, let's just put it like this. 203 CT Pizza, there's nothing better in the world. If you haven't had a chance to try the big three, come down, give it a shot. All right, we're back in Los Angeles. Last week's episode, super wholesome. We need some girls in the content. We're picking up a German chick right now. I'm in love with her, dude. And I'm trying to get on her good graces so that eventually she marries me one day and I could get dual citizenship in Hamburg or Munich or Dusseldorf. Good to see you I was just talking about how much I love Germany. Yeah, and miss it, and how good they did in the World Cup. Oh yeah, great. So let's pretend I care about the World Cup. What? You don't care about the World Cup? Fuck no. Well, one thing I know that you care about a lot is how much you love sneakers. <laughs> yeah, a big sneaker hat. Big Yo, love. look at that dog! Look at that dog! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Make it snappy, all right? Hi, you just poofed, huh? Okay, Mike, I need a puppy. I told you. I told you. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah, brother, Thank appreciate you. It. I told you that I would show you, you some puppies. Can you get, but yeah, but I want I'm going to lay this out for you flat. I need to use you for clickbait. I need to bring you to events because you're hot. Or do you want another chance on the whole, like, maybe us, like, actually having some sort of romantic involvement? We talked about this. When we're still single at, like, 50, we're going to end up together, kind of. You're 50 the last years old? What is your ideal man? Okay, I would assume the opposite of me. So short, no U.S. immigration status, yeah. right? Not intelligent, no podcast, no great YouTube channel. So basically, you want to marry David. Is what you're saying. So basically, it is. None of these yeah. things you actually t just listed matter. We're at Cool Kicks right now. I told her I'd get her a pair of shoes. I love it. She also told me, she's like, I don't fuck with sneakers. She said, I want Chanel. But honestly, like, I'm not buying her fucking Chanel. Sorry. They have, like, every type of Yeezy. No, we can't do Yeezy. <laughs> Even just having, like, the Balenciaga Chill. looking. Yeah. See, look, man, I knew he was going to do that, bro. I need platforms. What okay, do you mean by platforms? See. Something that makes me bigger. Part of yeah. your appeal is your is like your your miniature stature. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it, the fact that you're like I hesitate to say it, but like tossable. <laughs> it's like you know what I'm saying? Like those? Look, that's cute. Looks like candy. you like those? Oh, they happen to be a thousand dollars. You're like a radar detector that goes straight to the money, bro. <laughs> you know what they say? Happy wife, happy life. Size 13, Jordan Ford Crafts from my boy Mike. On release, he's coming out in February. Come out in February, February. so for 60 days, nobody else has no these has besides them. people that matter. Then people you. that matter and then me. Then you. <laughs> what about that conversation we had earlier about the whole like... Me and you? Yeah. Stuff? Oh. I'm just giving you another chance. They got a lot of dope <laughs> shoes in your size here, so they're out there. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, suit yourself. Good luck with your converses. That shoe right there. If you rock those on OnlyFans. Would if like you rock those. On and then nothing on and just like. Yeah, the yes, I don't care about that. Viral. Not, you know, saying anything crazy here. But the sneakerheads and the OnlyFans fans are. Yeah, it's like close. They kind of, there's a little bit of an overlap close. there. You know, know. Very like, close. What's your relationship status? Are you single? I'm just working on something. I'm working real on quick. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me a free throw shot. I miss. I actually missed two of them. But he said that if I put these ones out on the pole outside in front of Cool Kicks, somebody could take those, and I got new ones. So that's love right there. Cause I needed these. Appreciate they you know. Always. They know how bad I needed these. Man, sorry about your situation though. Still didn't find anything, huh? I did. Oh, you, are you getting those? Yeah. What? Did he say you're the only one with those pairs? <laughs> what are those? You want me to like time up time? Talk to me. What? Fuck are these? I told you we're the only one that has it. Why are these out on the on the rack? <laughs> oh, no, of course we're gonna sell it to our Wait, what's up? <laughs> it's either gonna be you and uh, 229 pairs that we got. So there's only 300 people, 230 people in the store <laughs> in the world that has have these shoes. All right, you may be asking yourself right now, why are you dressed like a fucking idiot? Today we're doing a vegan burger review because my friend Kifa, if you saw the Snoop Dogg episode or the Wiz Khalifa episode of Impulsive that's coming out soon, Kifa's the reason it happened. And he wanted a vegan burger today. You know I don't really fuck with the vegan shit, but I know there are some people out there that do eat vegan food. So we went to a place called Mick Charlie's. It's like a play on McDonald's. 
to be completely honest, I'm not so sure how they haven't gotten sued yet because it just is literally McDonald's but with an upside down frowny face. McDonald's, if you see this, leave them alone. They're trying to do the best they can for the environment. Hey, yo, Joy! Hey, yo, Joy, get the fuck over here! Hey, yo, Joy, get the fuck over here! Girls, come on, come on, come on, cross the road. Right. Animals are good. Humans are supposed Man, to fucking eat look. animals. Yes. Humans are supposed to eat red meat. Or cheese, I haven't had cheese. Oh, Lord, I went to... God damn. What the fuck? I haven't had red meat or cheese in five years, and I don't eat vegan shit because I feel like it's gonna make me want to just go to In-N-Out. But what are some th bad things that you do like doing? <laughs> uh, the thing about this vegan shit is they say it's supposed to be better for the environment, but then they put it in 400 wrappers in six boxes. It smells like McDonald's. I know, that's the whole plan, that's the whole thing. It's supposed to be like McDonald's, that's crazy, right? It's almost exactly like a Big Mac, double patty, American cheese, cause it's not real cheese, shredded lettuce, pickles, diced onions, and the special sauce. What the fuck are these patties made of, bro? Soy? What is, what? <laughs> there is no way. There is no way that you all have already started eating the burger. That's not how these. I'm scared shitless. Ready? Three, two, one. The time. Yalla. The thing that sticks out to me first is that it's basically like biting into like a pillow or like a pile of mashed potatoes. It just mushes. I mean, that's just like McDonald's. Uh, no, 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 no. McDonald's, McDonald's holds it. Every bite. Hit it with a bite and then tell me about the aftertaste. It's not about the aftertaste. It's the fact that there is no taste. Yeah. There's quite literally, it's like eating water. Keep up. Is this good for you? I don't fuck with this shit. I don't think so. At all. That bun looks dry as fuck. It, no, the <laughs> bun's not super dry. The what? issue with it, <laughs> listen, let's not be mean. They're trying to be less the animals, they're trying to support the environment. This shit smack. Actually, they look kind of like McDonald's fries, bro. Oh, wow. They're good, the fries are good. Oh yeah, the fries slap. This is like they went to McDonald's, bought McDonald's fries, and put them in the container. These are great, these are delicious. Y'all having a little party, huh? Hey! Hey, brother. It's a gangster party. You want some french fries? Alright, all right, brother. Talk look at that man, look at shit. that man. Oh my god. It's like a rolling cardboard box, bro. I really enjoyed it. Not to be a dick also. Is that my shirt? Because I was with you in New York and I let you wear that shirt you never gave back to me. And by the way, that's my favorite shirt. Like in the fucking world, so I'm gonna need that back right now. Right now? Yes, right now. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. It's one of my favorite shirts in the whole world. I'll yeah. give you a different one. What? You want me to give you a t-shirt back? Yeah, because I'll never get it back if it's I don't get it back right now. We got it back now. Mick Charlie's vegan burger review, potentially one of the worst burger reviews I've ever done just from a sound that honestly the background characters were trash. You did a good job. Aw, uh, thank you. I'm gonna go Mick Charlie's, I do like a 3.8. What? 3.8? You have to have a vegan section. This, this yeah, can't yeah, yeah. be. Yeah, that might be the problem. Yeah. You know what? Wait, everybody, <laughs> shut up. Let's list some of the good things about the place. I like the branding. The French fries are great. The nuggets are great. <laughs> Here's the good thing. I have such a strong video this week that this portion of it doesn't matter, dude. I don't give a fuck about this shit. But one thing I do give a fuck about is you guys watching it and what's gonna happen for the rest of this month on the channel. We're going to Qatar to the World Cup Finals. Thank you so much for shutting the fuck up. Thank you so, thank you for shutting up. Thank you so much for working late with us for clocking out. Peace. We're spending New Year's in Madrid, Spain. If you're watching this video right now and you are in Madrid, Spain, I need you to tag me in the comments of all the hot Madrid, Spain girls immediately on Instagram at Hey Big Mike. Make some sounds. This sounds like some... a horse cock. The way this is drooping. That's how it was delayed. That's how it was created. It's called horse cock pizza. Deep dish is fucking great. You put a hot fudge on it. What is that? Sunday? It's disgusting, oh, bro. What is this content, bro? What is this fucking content? And where is this shit? This girl, she's not. She's not made for fucking shooting content, bro. Now I'm gonna put it like this, and I'm, I'm gonna be completely blunt with you for a second. You are a rare case to me, because you've made it, look at that fucking dog, dude. Do you like J Balvin? 
She doesn't even know. She doesn't even know who you Dave know Chappelle who is, is, bro. I asked her if she wanted to come to Dave Chappelle backstage with me tonight. She goes, I do not know who Dave Chappelle is. <laughs> <laughs> Boxes, oh, shit. <laughs> type of Epstein Island shit. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here, bro? What do you need a fucking jacket for? What are we going to fucking Iceland? <laughs> you see how happy you got about it? You just got drilled in the face. Todd, look, there's the Yeshiva Rav Isaacson Torith Emith Academy. Academy. What is that place? Couldn't tell you. You sure you want to leave the socks on for this? I mean, Should I take them off, Mike? Uh, it's not for me, by the way. Also, yeah, yeah, no, it's I'm for sure not for me. Night, I'm worried about solely about the night shift audience right now. She said, I have no jacket. It's 68 degrees out. What do you need a fucking jacket for? I can't work like this. I can't work with these fucking people, bro. Yeah.